we've all thought about it. Taking that leap of some kind in some area of life. It can be anything, quitting that meh career, <laughs> committing to losing that extra 10 kilos, or finally asking your crush out. Whatever it is, we're usually hesitating because of fear of the perceived risk involved. My life's greatest leap was when I decided at age 29 back in 2012 to throw away my job as a miserable corporate lawyer to try to survive as a happy silver yogi. When debating to leap or not to leap, naturally we all run the pros and cons analysis and chances are it'll always seem like there's more reasons to not make that leap than to do so. After all, the reason why they call it a leap is <laughs> because it's a jump into the unknown, the uncertain, a future that's probably rocky and tumultuous. Whereas your present circumstances, whatever it may be, is familiar, stable, and probably more or less pretty comfortable. Through this lens, giving up the comfort of the present known circumstances for an uncertain, unstable, possibly precarious future will always seem, well, like a risky gamble. <laughs> but, and here's that really big but, that's actually a fundamental flaw to how we always look at the pros and cons analysis in deciding whether to leap or not to leap. That's actually a huge blind spot that most people overlook. So that's what I want to share with you all today in case it helps change the way you make that decision about leaping or not. <laughs> If you're facing the same question, hit that like and tell me what your dilemma is in the comments below and if this video helped you make up your mind. Now let's dive right in. At the point of deciding whether to quit or not, here's what my pros and cons list look like. Corporate lawyer life ugh, versus yoga and surf life. <laughs> pros, happiness, fulfillment, fitness, meeting other like-minded freedom spirits. YOLO, now before I have any real responsibilities. An escape, escaping my abject misery as a lawyer. Cons, how to make ends meet. Being practical and pragmatic like everyone else, that one con really appeared to weigh more or less the same or sometimes even bigger than the six pros. So I sat on the fence for almost two years before my abject unhappiness ultimately pushed me to take that flying leap. People usually characterize such crazy career moves variously as following your passions and chasing your dreams and they log it down as leaps of faith. But really, did anyone else notice that our pros and cons list is usually, almost entirely, limited only to what we know at that present moment before we've actually, you know, left? <laughs> the entire after the leap side to life is unknown, uncertain, and therefore mostly unaccounted for in that pre-leap cost-benefits analysis. It's just Three big question marks, really. In my reality, it's been 10 years since my big leap. I know how it turned out. The real, actual, complete pros, cons list is actually pretty mind-blowing, really. But first, a quick word from today's video sponsor, Masterworks. In a recent video, I discussed why these days purely saving money isn't going to be enough. Even a six-figure income may not cut it going by this survey. I know how that can be because over 10 years ago, I too was once in that situation. It's clear times are hard and nobody is truly safe. At least Goldman Sachs is being honest about where the stock market is headed. Nowhere. But an alternative may be looking at assets that aren't necessarily correlated to the stock market. So that even if the stock market flatlines this year as expected, the low correlation assets can continue to climb higher. As per Citibank, the asset with the lowest correlation to the stock market of any major asset class was art. Contemporary art prices have well outperformed the S&P 500's total return in the last 26 years. Now, almost none of us has millions lying around to buy a Banksy, <laughs> but Masterworks is the platform that lets you invest in multi-million dollar paintings without breaking the bank. 
Each work of art purchased by Masterworks is registered with the SEC. Masterworks has an impressive track record of 11 exits, all of them profitable, and has already delivered real results, paying out over $25.8 million total last year to its users. Over 650,000 members have tried to gain access to Masterworks, and paintings can sell out in minutes. But they're giving my subscribers priority access right now, so if you're interested, just click the link below. So back when I was deciding if I only had the power of precognition, here's what my actually accurate cost-benefits analysis should look like. Aside from the pros already listed, I also made lifelong friends with the most amazing people from all over, which I would never have met otherwise. I also met my future amazing, wonderful husband, Oftentimes, when people are asked why they aren't out there doing that travel adventure or new business venture or alternative life yet, they say, well, it's because they really want to be doing it with their someone special. And it's really hard to meet someone on the conventional life route who wants what they want. Yeah, well, actually that's really true <laughs> because it's kind of like you looking for a duck in the chicken coop. <laughs> I mean, if you're someone who wants something different, like you're more adventurous, you got unusual ideas and goals for your life, and you want a mate similar to you, it's much more likely you'll find that person whilst you're on the path of doing whatever it is you want to be doing, as opposed to sitting in a big city filled with people busy living that life you want to get away from. So that's what happened to Vitaly and I, we met about seven years ago, whilst we were on our respective individual journeys, and here we are today. I also became a financial minimalist, found new financial goals, and that eventually brought me to FIRE at age 38. Back when I was running the corporate hamster wheel, I assumed that as I grew older, I would simply roll on in my career like everyone else. And continue relying on that nice paycheck every month like everyone else. I never thought about financial independence or even about retiring earlier than 65, much less FIRE at the age of 38. FIRE was a dream I picked up along my nomad journey once I learned how much I love financial freedom and living on my own terms. Next, with the fire, we actualized our dream to live and serve in Bali permanently. Bali has always been our dream destination and our fire numbers were calculated based off projected cost of living here in Bali. I learned survival and improvisation in ways I never imagined. I've had to be my own doctor on so many different occasions whenever something happened and you're in a third world place and you don't speak the local language or there just isn't a reliable medical facility nearby. My life perspective has also shifted such that most things that occur, they don't really flat me much anymore. I feel a lot calmer, confident and resilient in facing life. And creative too. Like, no worries if you don't have a music speaker. Did you know a phone in a rice cooker bowl works really well at amplification? <laughs> I found my spiritual path in life, and this guides me daily to live each day with gratitude, peace, and good karma. I found release from so many mental cages. For example, these days, I'm a very happy minimalist. Stuff doesn't really matter, I don't get too attached, and life is about freedom of choices and experiences rather than possessions. I learned entrepreneurship, managing a business, manage other people, and so many other skills. I now carry with me the confidence that wherever I am, whatever I'm doing, if I ever need to get a job, rejoin some organization, or start a new business, or any venture really, I can bring more than a fair number of things to the table. I lived so many adventures that gave me inspiration and contemplations, which eventually evolved to become this YouTube channel, including this video you're watching. This is absolutely the craziest pro to make the list. It's something completely unexpected and really left field for me, but this is what has happened. Of course, there were additional post-leap cons as well. The loneliness of walking the path less trodden, 
losing your valuables and feeling vulnerable and forlorn in a country far away from home. The stress of watching your savings erode slowly over time whilst you're still figuring your new life out. That constant fear of failure and ending up as a loser, <laughs> that never fades. <laughs> but truly, when one sits down and re-examines that list, the cons, objectively viewed, tend to be practical issues that one can more or less predict and prepare for, manage with solutions. And the pros, so many of them, as inconceivable as they are, blow the cons right out of the water. We all have so much potential and power within each of us, just waiting to be unleashed. It's difficult to truly factor in how many incredible and different ways we can possibly grow as human beings when we rise to new challenges in any area of our lives. But we always fail to factor in all that fantastic potential when we're making our pro-con list. Because, well, because it's as yet unimaginable and no one really has the power of precognition, like in that Tom Cruise movie. <laughs> Yes, there are cons that always will be, but we can plan ahead and prepare and manage those cons to the best of our ability. And yes, don't get me wrong, that's a risk. Things can possibly go pear-shaped, but if it doesn't, if things work out, the rewards can be so incredibly tremendous. I mean, think J.K. Rowling writing Harry Potter, Mark Zuckerberg dropping out of college to do Facebook. So wouldn't you agree that the more rational thing to do is to actually step forward eagerly and embrace that leap? Now that you know about this blind spot and flaw in our decision making, how will that change you and the decision you're facing? Share with me in the comments below. I'm excited to hear about your plans. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate all of you and your kind support and your little notes every week. I hope you have. A wonderful week ahead and let's chat again next Saturday.